G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how you can have more organic keywords ranking on a page. I'm going to provide you with insightful tips and tricks. If you've got a page ranking well, but you can grab some easy keywords that you're not doing too well on, you can get them up the top, get more leads, get more calls, get more conversions. Let me show you exactly how to do it. Now, just before we jump in, guys, make sure that you go over to ranklightning.com. Rank Lightning is my SEO tool that we are currently building. This bad boy is going to do everything you need when it comes to SEO. Our vision is to have every single SEO tool that's out there right now all compiled into one. No more spreadsheets, no more drama, no more having a rerun test. All of that's going to go. So make sure you go over to Rank Lightning now. You are signed up because if you're signed up before we launch the tool, you will get grandfathered in at a great price. It'll never, ever be that price ever again. So make sure you go over to Rank Lightning now and check it out. Now, trying to get more organic keywords ranking on a page or post is a fantastic method to utilize something that's already working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of methods that you can do it. So I'm going to jump over to Google. I'm just going to pick a random to begin with for this. Uh, let's do how much does a roof repair cost in, oh, let's do replacement repairs, a bit dramatic. Replacement cost in Austin. Let's have a look. So. Ideally, what I'm trying to do is I'm having a look at the keyword. Now, the reason I start here and I look at competitors first is because what do I always say? Don't reinvent the wheel. So let's have a look at our competitors. Okay, well, we've got Forbes here. So that's an interesting one. And someone's doing some Parasite SEO over there. So I'm going to come down and do organic. I'm going to get rid of the Forbes one. I'm going to go with the top guy. So whoever's doing well, this is how I start. I look at whoever's doing well for my target keyword First of all, I grab their page, I copy this, I go over and I throw that bad boy into SEMrush. Rank Lightning will be able to do this as well, guys. So I come over here and then ideally, I'm specifically looking at that page. So you might need to make sure you're on the exact or subfolder in SEMrush. So just make sure you're catching that. And then I'm specifically going to look at the keywords that it's ranking for. So let's say that is your target keyword. How, how much does a roof replacement cost in Austin? That was our target keyword. Well, what other ones can we get up there for? What other ones might bring us in traffic? This is why you start with your competitor. And I don't start in Google Search Console, which we'll cover in a moment. But I like starting here first. So what I'm going to do is come down and I'm going to have a look at the keywords. I'll try and zoom in a little bit for you as well, get some better keywords. Now, what you want to do from here, okay, is you want to go through and copy this. So export all of this and put it in a Google sheet. You can have it in here if you want, but what you really, really want to be looking at is those easy keywords. Now, now, this is where it is an important thing. It's like, well, Ronald, where does the cannibalization come in? Like how much is too much? Is too varied good or should it be more varied? Yada, yada, yada. The best thing that you want to do, so let's say you've looked at your page, your page was doing well for your main keyword, but you wanted to rank for some more. You're like, ah, we're doing well for the main keyword. What do I do? I'm going to have a look at this. Go roofing estimate, Austin. If root, if is roofing estimate as an example, should that go on my page as one of the supporting keywords, or should it be an additional page? Think about how relevant it is to it. Now, in this situation, what is the idea of roosting, roofing estimate Austin? I kind of would build that bad boy as its own standalone page. But as an example, the cost of a new roof in Texas, that could be used on the page. Because do you want to, maybe you don't serve all of Texas. Maybe you don't serve all of Texas, and this is where you need to use your smarts. You need to sit there and think logically about it. Well, I don't want to serve everywhere else. I just want to stick to Austin. I don't want to drive around. That's it. Austin's what we do. But if you can grab some of this additional traffic, why not? Why not? So you can grab some of these types of additional keywords. Now, chances are you will have roof replacement Austin, Texas already as a variation of your page if you're ranking. 
So, of course, that's a little bit too obvious. But the Texas one is something that I would be focusing on because you don't need to create a new page. So the Texas one looks good for me. Flat roof replacement Austin, that's a service page for me. That's not going to be an additional keyword that I try. Like I'm not trying uh, to have more organic keywords ranking on a page or post. I'm not trying to do that here with this keyword, okay? Typical cost of uh, replacement of roof, sneak that one in there. Uh, roof replacement cost per square. Not a bad uh, uh, one there. Roof replacement Austin, roof replacement cost per square foot, average price of roof replacement. So all of these are nice little additional keywords that I could start going after. Now, they are obviously quite challenging to go after. So let's try to look for something a little bit easier. San Antonio, are you going after San Antonio? Perhaps you are, perhaps you're not. But again, this is something that you could sneak in. So I look at it like that, you know, I work with a ton of contractors that don't want to go out of the area. They don't want to be traveling from up at Fort Lauderdale down to Homestead past Miami. They don't want to be doing that. And fair enough. It's like an hour and a bit drive. Why would you want to do that? You want to stick locally. So as an example, would I include San Antonio if I wasn't going to serve it? Probably not. But if you are thinking, well, if we get a roof replacement job out there, it's worth us taking that trip for a couple of days. So these are the things you need to think logically on on what keywords that you should be including. But as an example, there's a ton of additional ones that we could try and sneak into our page. So like the typical cost of roof replacement, average roof replacement cost Texas. You can see all of these, like they're relatively easier. Key well, this one here is easier. This one's not. But you can see that these are easier keywords to look at and go after. So export this list. Go through it logically. Don't be just dramatic and, you know, random. And like I said, your page is already, you've already got, you know, most of the Austin keywords, so to speak. That should be obvious. But ones that you're missing, you don't have. Now, another thing that you can do to make it very, very easy is go across to the keyword gap. So very, very easy to do on SEMrush. Go over here, put in your one. I've got a ton of videos on keyword gaps. Keyword gaps will be linked up above. But you can also look at the keyword gap and you can look at several competitors as well. So that's another great thing to do. Again, it's as simple as pasting in your link in here, throw that bad boy in there, away you go. See what they've got and you don't have. I personally like looking at it being like, hmm, keyword gap's good, but you will sometimes get a lot of nonsense data. I like just having a quick look at like how I did it just there. I'm looking through going, well, guy's number one, old mate's number one, so chances are he's probably winning for a few. You can look at one, two, and three, but I just skim through. With the keyword gap, sometimes it can pull in a lot more, and you kind of have analysis paralysis. So the keyword gap is good, definitely, but it's what I do after I've had a quick skim through because there might be nothing there. So just always, that, that's my process for it. Now, the next thing that we can look at is Google Search Console for additional keywords that we're not doing too well on. Now, you'll need to log into your Google Search Console, but I'll show you some easy tips and tricks. So I'm going to go to Pages. So you go to Pages. Now, I'm going to want to have a, let's have a look at uh, ZimWriter. Let's do this. ZimWriter will be a good one. Now, the way you do this, okay, go across to Queries. And what we want to look at is things that we're getting impressions for that we're not doing too well in other locations, okay? So as an example, you can see here's all my queries. All right, I'm going to extend this out a little bit more so I can see them all. But what I want to do is I want to sort of scroll down where I'm getting some impressions, but I'm not doing well on ClickWise as an example. Okay, so this is perfect what I want to do. So I want to sort of scroll down, have a look where the impressions are low and see if there's any other things that I could sneak in here. If I could sneak in here. Here's, here's one. Here's one. Here we go. SEO AI detector. Okay. Like it does have a thing, but past AI review, like past AI as an example. So I'll be throwing these keywords into SEMrush, obviously, as an example. But if I'm looking at it from the ZimWriter perspective, if you don't know about ZimWriter, it's a fantastic tool. Maddie's a great guy. I do recommend it. It's what we use. But as an example, past, uh, past AI review. Hmm. 
How could I expand on that? Um, how to pass AI review with Zimrider. There's a fantastic type of keyword that I could maybe try and sneak into my Zimrider page that would benefit me with more traffic coming to the site. Now, is the intent on topic and align? Not necessarily. So if you're trying to get more organic traffic to a page or post, you've got to think that's quite uh, think about it that's quite relevant. But if we come here, Zimrider Lifetime, Zimrider Price, are these impressions one low because the search volume is quite low? So this is what you need to think about. Or is it because I don't rank well? So that's why you want to come across and have a look at where you're actually ranking for that keyword. So if impressions are low, but you rank high, then you can sit there and be like, ah, chances are that keyword's low and confirm it in SEMrush. But if you're sitting there and doing abysmally like AI content reviews, great keyword, great keyword, because that one's relevant. But look at this, I'm doing poorly ranking for that as an example. So. On my Zimrider page, I can go away and go AI content reviews, Zimrider, people are looking for an AI content generator in that consensus if we look at that keyword. So how would I get this AI content reviews on my page to pop more? Well, what you want to be doing is a few things. I would try and sneak that into the H1 if it was my main thing. If I was like, wait a minute, this is brilliant and on point, I could drive heaps more, sneak it into the H1 sneak it in there. If not, sneak it into H2s, H3s. Great thing to do with additional keywords is throw it into the headers and that can help move it a long way. So I guarantee if I was to place that into a header, I was to put that anywhere on my site like that, show that importance to Google, that's going from 80 to up a lot higher. Okay. So that's how you want to do it there. Now, once it's in the headers, you've got to try and make sure that you even a H3, even a H4, something, sneak it in there. Next thing is obviously more prominence throughout the content as well. So I'd be wanting to sprinkle that in. You guys know I love my densities. Sprinkle that in a few more times. Jack up the density of it as well. Because Google's already saying, hey, Ronnie, I'm rewarding you for this, bro. Chances are that SEMrush wouldn't be picking this up. All right. SEMrush probably is probably not picking this keyword up, but Google Search Console is. So that's why I start uh, with SEMrush. Then I move over to Google Search Console because this is what I'm looking for. This is the perfect sort of stuff that you're looking for along the lines as an example. So that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at AI content reviews. Once I've sprinkled it throughout the content, you can bold one as well. Bold one reference. Why not? Put it in italics. Can help. Can help. So these are the types of things that will show Google that it's more important and you want to help get it up there. And that's how to have more organic keywords ranking well for a page or post. Because if you could get that that term essentially up to the top, you're getting it up to the top, you're going to be able to bring a lot, lot more to your website, to your business. And it's the same thing. So whether it's a page, whether it's a post, whether it's a local business, whatever it may be, guys, approaching it the same way is the exact same philosophy. Do it with the SEMrush first, start there, you see what your competitors are doing, see, see what's going on there. Because again, competitors have invested, if they're in front of you, they've invested money to make that happen. Why are you wasting time and all of this resources and everything else? They've paid the money right on their coattails. Go nuts. That's how you can do it cheaply. That's how I do it. Right on their coattails. Enjoy the win. Grab those keywords for yourself. Then come over to Google Search Console and marry it all up. And remember what I was talking about on the points so there. Don't just think, oh, I was, I'm getting low impressions. Beautiful. Look where you're ranking. Because if you're ranking, as an example here, position number four for Zimrider Dot, don't go and sprinkle that in because it's very little impressions for it, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like it's don't go after something that just because it's got low impressions, you're then jumping across and going, oh, ripper. I can add another keyword in there and get more keywords on my page or post. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, guys. Push this out. Share it to people. Help grow this wonderful community. Put a comment down below on other tips and tricks that you utilize to help get a page ranking. Comments help this channel grow, guys, and it's legends like you that are helping this grow. Make sure you jump over to Rank Lightning. Check that out. Get grandfathered into an awesome, awesome deal that'll never happen again.